Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Yes, today is Saturday, which means we have the most epic video of the week, okay? We have lots of stuff to cover, so let me show you guys a quick preview. Alright guys, check out the setup. It is looking pretty impressive. So today's main focus will be on the four new fierce changes hidden hatches. That is pretty cool because the dinosaurs are able to transform into dinosaur rigs, okay? So at the same time, let's take a look at the entire collection of the hidden hatches. Um, we have just added this very cute little Tyrannosaurus Rex Tumblr, which means I'll be showing you guys, you know, our collection of really cute and adorable tumblers right here, okay? We have also added two new Gujitsu figures right here, the Lophosaurus and Indominus Rex, so we'll have a quick look at the rest. We'll take a look at this vintage Lego figures which are able to transform into different dinosaurs. So after we have transformed, we shall take a look at the figures right here, okay? So it's going to be really exciting. Let's get right into it. Okay, so let's start the unboxing. We're going to be unboxing the Indominus Rex first. So this is basically the Fierce Changer, which is able to transform from the Indominus Rex oops, into a dinosaur rig, which I think is going to be pretty cute. So let's try and figure this out. So how do we do this? So we basically fold it upwards. What about the, um, oh, the head? You can actually move it backwards. But first, let's have a look at this. You're able to open and close the jaw, which I think is pretty cute. So just push it back. What about the tail? Push it back in. I suppose we have to bend this in as well. Okay. And now for the other side. Okay, looks pretty cute. So there you go. You can actually transform this into an egg. But this side can't really close. Oh, there you go. So this is basically the dinosaur egg. And let's try and see if we are able to transform it back into a dinosaur easily. Let's have a look. Yep. We're able to do so quite easily. But of course, it doesn't look very, very nice when it's being transformed into a dinosaur, I feel. Okay, let's try to open the jaw. Yep. I would say it's pretty cute and adorable. So that's the Indominus Rex. So I've actually brought like, you know, each figure, um, you know, for every dinosaur that we have transformed. So I've brought this one right here. I've brought two Indominus Rex. So this is basically the sound search. Okay, so let's place this one right here. And let's move on to the next one. Shall we go with the Tyrannosaurus Rex? I think it's gonna be pretty cute as well. Um, there are no sounds. But I think you can see there's a little symbol right here that says that you have to, you know, exercise your brain to transform this, which I think it's, yeah, I think it's, it's pretty much accurate. If you are like a little kid, like three years old, this would definitely be, you know, a little bit challenging for little kids. I think that will be pretty fun. So let's have a look at this. We have the Tyrannosaurus Rex, okay. Hidden hatcher, so you can see this is basically the T-Rex. The arms are actually right here. You can see it's actually be beneath the body. So two fingers. And of course, you are able to open and close the jaw, which I think is pretty cute. Okay, so now let's try to transform this into an egg. So let's try this. Just push this all the way back up. Close this flap right here and the sides. And now for the right side, just fold it upwards, the top flap, and the sides. And there you go, you have a little dinosaur egg right here, which I think it's it's very cute. So let's display this as the dinosaur egg. I think it's, it's pretty awesome, it's very very adorable. Okay, pretty cute one. So now let's move on to the next one, which is the Velociraptor Blue. Or is this Beta? Oh, it's blue. It's blue. It's written right here, so it's definitely blue. It will be nice if they are able to come up with more species for this, but I think they're just trying to test, you know, to see how it goes before they release more species. 
And speaking of release guys, I have a very very proud announcement for you guys because we are going to release our very own plush figure. This is actually known as Tyrone, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, nicknamed Chonky. Yep, it will be released soon. It is a jumbo plush figure, our very own Dan Surprise plush figure. It should be available in August. So stay tuned, I'll be doing an official announcement. I'm pretty excited because this is my first ever, you know, official merchandise. Yeah, very, very happy with it, to be honest with you. Okay, now let's transform this into a dinosaur egg. Okay, but first, let's have a look at this. You're able to open and close the jaw. You can move it up and down. Very cute. So let's transform this into an egg right now. Fold the tail upwards. The left flap. Okay, the left leg, I mean. Oops, I hear like a crack sound. Hopefully it doesn't break. Okay, so now let's close the top flap sides and now for the right leg top flap sides and there you go pretty cute i think this one actually fits really well this one maybe not so much did we do it the right way yeah but you can see the eggs are actually different in color which is kind of cute let's take a mini break and um have a look at two new Gujitsu figures that we have just added um, two days ago. So these are two new species that have been added to the Gujitsu line, the Dominus Rex right here and the Lophosaurus. If you take a look at this, there aren't any items inside the body like what you can find from the Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you take a look at the previous version, you're able to find like bones as well as a mosquito inside the Tyrannosaurus Rex which I thought, you know, was a pretty cool touch but for this, they kept it really simple it's just like red slime inside which I think it's still kind of cool it's smaller in size as well and here's the Dilophosaurus which I think it's pretty awesome because they have actually come up with the frills and um, it's looking great, you are able to stretch it but don't try to pull it too much otherwise it may break Okay, now let's move on to the last one. Yep, the last one, which is the Dilophosaurus. So let's have a look at the Dilophosaurus right here. Let's rip this open. It's actually kind of fun when you transform this into a dinosaur egg, you know, and if, and if you transform it back, it's pretty cool. It's pretty entertaining, I would say. I think kids will definitely love it. But I know that a lot of um, collectors are actually frowning upon this figure because they thought, you know, they don't look good. But to me, I think it's, you know, you have some really, you know, accurate looking figures like, you know, the bigger figures. But of course, you should also have some figures which are, you know, more fun, I guess. So Dilophosaurus right here, you can see the colors are actually very, very close to the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. So let's fold the left leg up. Okay, oh, I think you have to release this. Yep, fold it upwards. Okay, you push it in. Are we supposed to like hear a cracking sound? I think we have to, right? There you go. Yeah, that, that sound actually sounds a little bit scary to me because it sounds like I have broken something. But I think it's fine. Let's try this. Yep, there you go. I can't really close this one, you know, as well as the blue version, but I think it's fine. So right here, we have four fierce changers. What do you call this? Hatchers. Hidden hatches. Alright, so now let's move on to the other figures. I'm pretty excited to show you guys the vintage Lego figures. Alright guys, these are actually very vintage Lego dinosaurs, okay? It is an official Lego product and it's all the way back in 2001, so it's 22 years old. So, yep, two decades old. So let's pull the contents out. So for each set, you're actually able to transform it into different dinosaurs such as Oranosaurus, Spinosaurus, and Parasaurolophus, okay? So let's try and change this, transform this, I, I mean, 
into a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is not the most accurate looking figure, that's for sure, but I think it's pretty cute and very creative. So there you go, we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex right here. Okay, and you are able to change it into a Spinosaurus just by just, you know, adding this sail onto its body, which is very cute and adorable. And of course, you are able to change it into a Parasaurolophus pretty easily by switching the head right here. So there you go. So far, you have seen um, three dinosaurs. And if you want to change it to, into an Oranosaurus, you can just pop on the sail right here and remove this little crest on top of the head and it becomes an Oranosaurus which I think it's very very creative okay so as promised I'm gonna be showing you guys a figure of the Tyrannosaurus Rex Parasaurolophus as well as the Spinosaurus so let's go for the Tyrannosaurus Rex I have selected the latest one which is the Hunt and Chomp Tyrannosaurus Rex okay so let's try this it actually features a double chomp on his jaw but sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't let's try this again yep there you go you can see a double chomp sometimes yep do you guys see that not every single time but sometimes you can see it chomps twice Okay, it's pretty hard to catch you of that, but yeah, very nice. I like this because it has a very cool tracking gear. And um, besides that, it also features some stripes across the body that makes it look like a tiger. So I actually nicknamed the Tiger T-Rex, okay? <laughs> okay, so um, for the next figure, we I've also brought the Parasaurolophus because we will be transforming into a Parasaurolophus later on. So Spinosaurus have actually brought something smaller which is, you know, the Captive Collection Spinosaurus. Pretty cute one, so let's move on to the next item. Okay, the next Fierce Changer is actually this transforming Tyrannosaurus Rex. It took me a very long time to transform it from a vehicle into a Tyrannosaurus Rex, so there's no way which I am going to transform it back into a vehicle. I don't think so. But check this out, check this out. You can actually press the button and it will roar and you can actually find the wheels of the cars uh, i mean there's only one car the wheels of the car right here um some of the other wheels are actually hidden inside so yeah it basically takes about 15 minutes for me just to transform it you know from a vehicle into this tyrannosaurus rex which was not easy okay so right here there's actually another one but it's not from Mattel, it's from Hasbro and this is a collaboration between Jurassic World and Transformer so you can actually transform this into a robot I think the head is somewhere uh, hidden inside yeah, it's an Autobot you can actually transform into an Autobot robot which I think is kind of cute okay, and speaking of transforming you know, we have lots of other figures right here for us to transform Let's transform this indoor raptor into a Brachiosaurus. So let's do this. Let me just you, you have to fold um the legs and um the hands backwards so that you are able to open these two flaps easily. So let's try this. You have to um keep the tail. The tail is actually very long. Close the two flaps, the two coppers, and let's see. Extend the neck of the Brachiosaurus. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't lock. Yeah, it doesn't lock very well for mine, which is quite a pity. Yeah, I'm trying to pull it as hard as possible, but it just doesn't stay that way. So I think it's it's okay. It's okay. So you extend the legs because the Brachiosaurus actually has um pretty. Yeah, you can see the claws. You are actually able to extend it, but you don't have to extend it for the Brachiosaurus. You only extend it when it's an Indoraptor. Okay, so let's have a look at this. You keep the longer toe claws and you extend the shorter ones out. The tail can't be extended. So there you go, we have a Brachiosaurus. But of course, the front legs, okay, you have to keep the hind legs. Make them shorter because 
the front legs of the Brachiosaurus should definitely be longer than the hind legs. So there you go, we have a beautiful Brachiosaurus. I think these are amazing figures, I would say. It's not the most pleasing or most realistic looking figures, but I think it's very fun, definitely super enjoyable, um, at least for me. I, I find it kind of like therapeutic to actually transform this, to be honest. So the next one is actually a Baryonyx. So before we transform this into a herbivore, I brought one Baryonyx, which is Baryonyx Green from Cam Cretaceous. How many of you guys actually remember this? Yep. It is a very nice sound strike figure. So you basically twist the tail and it will roll. Pretty cool figure. Just gonna place this one right here. And let's transform this. I can't remember what this actually transformed into. I think probably an Ankylosaurus. Let's have a look for Parasaurolophus. I can't remember. Yep, it's a Parasaurolophus. So let's transform this. Alright. Okay, wait a minute. We have to um, place the tail, I think, this direction. Close the cover. There you go. So similarly, you have to keep the longer toe claws because herbivores, they definitely do not have a toe claws, that's for sure. Um, for this, it's kind of confusing for me because I'm not too sure whether to bend it in this direction or the other direction because I can't really stand, you know, very well. So I suppose this direction is fine. Yeah, you know, as long as it stands, I think it's fine. So you have a Parasaurolophus, which is the near crested lizard. So for the Parasaurolophus, I have brought this one, which is the Jurassic World Dominion one, the one that Owen tried to, tried to capture, you know, which happened in the opening scene of Jurassic World Dominion. Okay, now let's move on to another box. Shall we go with this one right here, which is the Mosasaurus? I don't think I've brought any Mosasaurus, but it's fine, it's fine. Let's have a look at this. So let's pour the contents out. Okay, this one is actually um, a very fun activity. So let's pop in the tail. So the Mosasaurus has a very long tail, but of course, it also has four flippers. So just pop in the flippers. Easily done. Yeah, I think you guys must be wondering where can I get this? You know, I got them um, many years back. And I think I, we, we got it off eBay because this are actually no longer in production. So it cost me quite a bit, fair bit of money. So for the Mosasaurus, I've actually brought a Deicosaurus, guys. A Deicosaurus, which is not a mo. Um, which is closely related to the Mosasaurus. This is actually a danger pack um, Deicosaurus. Beautiful one. And let's maybe head over to Jurassic World. Okay, not Midlands. Let's go over to the Monster Island room. Alright guys, I want to show you a Mosasaurus. So this is actually the Imagine Next Mosasaurus. Uh, you know, I wanted to show you guys one Mosasaurus at least. Okay, let's pick up the Indominus Rex. The Indoraptor, as well as um, the latest Gigar, because we are going to do some transformation of them later on as well. So let's go. Okay, so back at the review table, let's have a look at what other dinosaurs we shall transform it into. Okay, Dimetrodon. So Dimetrodon, you have to pop on the later seal, but of course you also need to switch switch out the flippers into hind legs and front legs as well. So let's pop in the hind legs and the arms. Yep, they actually look like arms right here instead of um, legs. So this is a Dimatrodon. I didn't bring a Dimatrodon, but I think we should have one or two Dimatrodons in the basement, Dino Dungeon or the Monster Island room. Alright, back 
in the Monster Island room, let's try to find a couple of Dimetrodons or at least one. So we have one right here which is from the Imagine Next. So that's one Dimetrodon. We also have another one right here, a bigger version. So that's second. There's two Dimetrodons. We also have another one which is a mini figure right here. So this is actually from a mini, uh, what do you call that? A mini blind bag. Okay, so let's head back. All right. Next, let's transform this into an Iguanodon. So we definitely need to switch out um, the head. So how do we do this? All right. So you have to remove the entire head. But where is the head? Okay, the neck is right here. Just pop it right in. That's the neck. Oops. The hind legs came off. And of course, we need the arms so I just need to get the arms out okay pop it right in for the iguanodon it doesn't have a sail so you have to remove the sail and there you go we have an iguanodon for the iguanodon I have actually brought one figure which is a raw striker iguanodon very cute little Iguanodon. Iguanodon is known as the Iguana's Tooth. It is a dark built dinosaur, okay? It's a herbivore. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, now let's transform the Carnotaurus. So the Carnotaurus, I've actually brought, you know, the latest one, which is the Epic Attack Battle Chomping Carnotaurus, which I think is one of the coolest Carnotaurus out there that Mattel has produced. It is a super cool figure. You can see it can roar. But of course, it also has lights as well. Two sets of lights to be, I mean, to be exact. So, very cool. So, epic battle, epic attack, battle chomping Carnotaurus. So, this is the Carnotaurus. So, let's transform this into a herbivore, which I think you guys should be able to guess it by now. You can see the plates right here, which are the plates of a Stegosaurus. That's the easiest one so far. You know, it can't, you can't hide the plates without um, knowing that um, it is a... Okay, I think we've, we've transformed it into the wrong side. So the head should go in first, followed by the tail. Oops, it doesn't work this way. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of uh, confusing. So hopefully this way works. Let's try. Close this part. It doesn't lock very well. Yeah, it doesn't lock very well. I remember this Carnotaurus doesn't lock too well. So there you go, a Stegosaurus. So let's keep the long toe claws to just show the shorter ones. So there you go. I don't think it works this way. Because if you put it this way, the front legs actually can stand. Oh, I think it, it, it can actually stand if you do it this way. I'm just kind of annoyed that um, I, I'm not able to close the top cover perfectly. It just kind of like move up quite easily, which is kind of weird. But it's okay, you can see this is a Stegosaurus. For the Stegosaurus, I have brought this one. I can't remember the exact name of this. I think it's known as the Gigantic Tracker Dino Tracker series Stegosaurus. It comes with two buttons. Okay, pretty cool. Let's try to find one more Stegosaurus from the Monster Island room, shall we? I think this is fun. Okay, back in the Monster Island room, I think we should be able to find at least two Stegosaurus. One, we have a plush figure. You know, this is basically my collection of plush figures from Jurassic World. The other one, I think we should be able to find one from here. Let's try. Do we have a Stegosaurus? Nope, we do have an Ankylosaurus. But I don't see any Stegosaurus. Oh, this is surprising. I thought we should have one, but nope. Oh, right here, guys. Wow, this is incredible. We have one mini Stegosaurus right here. Pretty cool, let's skip back. All right, next, let's have a look at the Giga. Giga, okay, how do you guys pronounce it? Giganotosaurus or Giganotosaurus? Um, Giga. 
let's just call it Giganot Giganotosaurus, okay? So the Gigar, I have brought this one, which is the sound search because it is smaller. So I don't have to carry that much weight down from level 2 Jurassic World Midlands to the basement Dino Dungeon. And of course, we also have this little one, which is the, the one from Imagine Next. Pretty cute one. So what this can transform into, it's kind of um, cool as well. Okay, let's open the body. And um, yeah, let's do this. I think you have to push in the tail because it is very long, that's for sure. Okay, I'm not too sure whether the tail should go in first or the head should go in first. I can't fool, I can't really. Okay, I think this should be correct. There you go, very nice. So, what do you guys see? Is this a Triceratops or a Nasudoceratops? Make a guess. I think it's pretty obvious. It should be a Triceratops. So, let's try to. I'm gonna move this T Rex away. Yeah, it should be this way. Yep. And of course, you're able to open up. What do you call this? The shoe. And you are able to extend the horns, which is very nice. So there you go, a pretty nice Triceratops. Of course, I have brought a Triceratops for you. I didn't bring the latest one, I brought one of the rarest one out there. This is actually a battle damage Triceratops. It's really hard to find this figure, I have to get it off eBay at a pretty expensive price. But yeah. It's a very nice addition to my collection. Now let's move on to another box right here, guys. How about this one? This is the Brachiosaurus, and you are able to transform it into a Plesius, Plateosaurus, Plesiosaurus, and Diplodocus. So let's let's just try to transform this into um, two dinosaurs, I suppose. Okay, so seems like the legs are already, you know inserted so let's just pop in the neck oh we still need this part no i think this part doesn't work doesn't fit this is weird it's supposed to fit because did i put this in the wrong way yeah there you go and here's the neck. So you can see we have a very long neck dinosaur. And of course you need the tail as well. Just pop in the tail. So there you go, a Brachiosaurus. And now we can, let's just transform this. Okay, before we transform, of course, I have brought a Brachiosaurus. This is basically the one I've brought, Firecracker. The nickname of this Brachiosaurus is known as Firecracker from Camp Cretaceous. So now let's remove the legs. Let's place it back into the box since we don't need it anymore. And let's just pop in the flippers. And it becomes a Plesiosaurus. So Plesiosaurus is not exactly a dinosaur. It was a prehistoric marine reptile, but I think it's okay for us to classify it, you know, in our own video as a dinosaur. So this is basically the Plesiosaurus right here, guys. Beautiful one. Prehistoric marine reptile, I have brought one, which is, I think this is known as the Savage Strike Plesiosaurus. Beautiful one, it comes with a movable jaw, of course the flippers, you're able to move them, the tail is able to move as well, pretty cute one. So yeah, let's have a look at the next figure. Okay, before we do another transformation, let's have a look at our, you know, our merch collection right here. So our Tumblr's collection, I got this from Universal Studio a couple of months back because I just went there pretty recently. This is actually from Universal's um, Studio Singapore. Yeah, I think we got this from Singapore. It is a Tumblr. So you're yeah, able to put like water inside. Yeah, it's really cute and adorable. Right here, I have a little cereal, cereal cup. So you can put in like your cornflakes inside, you can put in your milk. This is actually a free gift. 
Okay, next one is actually another. I think this is actually considered like a popcorn. Okay, not a popcorn. Probably a beverage um, container. There's like a little hole right here, and you can insert a straw. So you can basically put your soft drink inside. It is um, from Jurassic World The Exhibition. So very nice merch, I would say. This is basically blue. Very beautiful container. And this one is actually a popcorn holder. Yep, you can put in your popcorn right here. It is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it's also from Jurassic... Oh my goodness. Oh dear, sorry, so sorry about that. It is actually from Jurassic World Dominion, Zing Group. This is actually a merch from Thailand. We got it from Thailand. We imported it from Thailand. And here with a smaller version. Okay. And it is a beverage holder. So you can see there's a little hole right here for you to insert the straw. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Alright. So next, let's have a look at this. Which is the Ankylosaurus. And it can transform into a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Before we transform it, of course, I have brought one and Ankylosaurus. This is probably one of the, um, uh, I would say, one of the latest ones. This is a raw striker. So it's kind of cool. So of course, you can see the tail, it can swing. So you press it down, the tail will swing. Very cool Ankylosaurus. So as you guys know, Ankylosaurus it's a heavily armored dinosaur is known as the fused lizard because all the bones inside his body are actually fused together to form a very strong protective armor against predators so let's transform this armored dinosaur into a ferocious carnivore i think it is a t-rex if i'm not wrong so yep it is a t-rex yeah so let's try this. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. Hopefully this is the right... No, I think the tail should go in first. Like this. Is this the right way? It's kind of challenging at times to know what is the, which is the right way. Yep, apparently this is not the right way. So the head needs to go in first, followed by the tail. So hopefully this works. Yep, one side is done, and now for the other side. Yep, it fits pretty nicely. Okay, so now we have to move the arms of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. These two arms are definitely way too long for a T-Rex. As you guys know, T-Rex has tiny, tiny little arms, but that's fine. We are, we are not so concerned about the accuracy of these um, figures because these figures are more for the fun of it rather than um, you know the accuracy so there you go um okay so there you go a beautiful tyrannosaurus rex right here so for the t-rex i've shown you guys like the hunt and chomp do we have another t-rex um i mean we have lots of t-rex right at the back so i think it's fine of course we have two more from are you guys able to see them yep these two are baby Gujitsu Tyrannosaurus Rex. Very, very adorable. Okay, now let's transform the last box, guys. So what do we have right here? Staracosaurus. You can also transform into a Triceratops, Centrosaurus, and Camarasaurus. Pretty awesome. Let's open this box and transform it. Okay, so let's try and um, transform this into a Staracosaurus first, shall we? Let's pop in the head, which is right here, and the legs. Let's see, let's see. I think there should be two pairs of legs. The front one should be the shorter ones, I suppose, because it's not a Brachiosaurus. So let's pop in the hind legs. You do need a tail, but you can see the tail is actually a lot shorter than the sauropods, that's for sure. The legs definitely look a little bit weird to me. I'm not too sure whether this is supposed to be correct, but it does definitely does look a bit weird. Yeah, okay, seems better right now, so... Okay, for the Styracosaurus, you have to add in two more horns on both sides of the head. So, the number one figure right here 
I mean, the first dinosaur we have transformed into is the Styracosaurus, which is known as the Spite Lizard. So let's transform this into a Triceratops. Triceratops, very easy. Oh, okay, the Styracosaurus, I think we have to put the horns right here, right over here instead. So I've made a mistake just now. So this is a Styracosaurus. And if you want to transform it into a Triceratops, you pop in these two horns on top of the head and remove the two horns on the sides. So there you go, a Triceratops. So the next one, let's try and transform it into a Centrosaurus. Easy stuff. Just remove the horns and you get a Centrosaurus. Pretty cute. And let's transform this into a Camarasaurus. All right. So let's remove the head, pop in the small, short neck and the small little head right here and there you go, we have a Camarasaurus. I would say it's very cute and um, kind of like creative, I would say. Okay, I think we have just one or two more figures left for us to go through and we should be done with today's video, okay? So let me just put in this. You have to remove the tail. Let's go! Okay, so just now we have actually talked about the Indoraptor and we've also talked about the Indominus Rex. So let's have a quick look at the Track and Attack Indoraptor, which I think you guys have seen it before, that's for sure, but it's okay. Let's have a look at them again. Beautiful and awesome figure. I've also brought a Dilophosaurus, which is pretty new. So this one is a pretty new one as well. Cute little Dilophosaurus. Do you guys know that this material is actually different from all the other Dilophosaurus? It's made of very soft material. Even the arms are made of rubber, which is kind of cool. And I've also brought my most favorite figure in today's video, which is the Camouflage and Battle in Dominus Rex. I just can't tell you guys, I mean, just can't tell you guys how much I love this figure. I mean, just take a look at this. Very, very amazing glow in the body. So this is basically to simulate the camouflaging abilities when it is hiding in the forest. So the green can actually blend it, blend it well with the rest of the forest, which is very, very cool. Okay. So I think that's all guys, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Oh, I brought one Velociraptor. I didn't manage to show you guys Velociraptor because we, we did have one transforming Velociraptor right here. I think this is the one. So yep, this is the egg of the... Let's transform this into a raptor. Let's do this. Oh, how do we do this again? <laughs> I have totally forgotten. Okay, you move this side. Okay, you move it down. Yeah, there you go. It's actually very simple. Very, very simple. Very, very simple stuff. So there you go. A Velociraptor. And I brought this one, which is one of my favorite, favorite um, raptors in the collection. So you can see the head is actually painted with metallic paint you guys know i am a huge fan of metallic paint all right guys so thanks for watching this video so stay tuned for the news of chonky a jumbo plush figure dan surprise exclusive only 100 will be made okay so it's gonna sell fast so um stay tuned in august it will be launched very very soon okay so stay tuned for that I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.